So this is going to be a short list of the top five games that I play right now on Linux. And just for reference, what my computer system is. It's an eight core AMD FX 8350 processor. I have 16 gigs of RAM, AMD Radeon RX 570. This is certainly nothing great. It's not bad. I'm not saying that, but everything that I play plays really well. Might be a little bit of stuttering with the OBS recording. So keep that in mind while you're watching this. Otherwise everything runs great when I'm playing it. My current KD Plasma version is 5.2.3.4. Frameworks is 5.89.0. QT version 5.15.2. Kernel 5.15.12-1. Graphics platform is on X. I am running in X right now for one reason and one reason alone. OBS hotkeys. They do not work in Wayland. All of the games I'm going to show you play just as well if not even better in Wayland. Wayland is really coming along nicely. They get the hotkeys figured out for OBS. I'll probably be permanently on Wayland. This is Path of Exile. I guess you could tell that. Uh, it is the game that I play probably the most. If you're going to play Path of Exile in Linux, Make sure you go into your options and at renderer here, make sure your default or the yeah, default is DirectX 11. Make sure you change it to Vulcan beta. DirectX 11 on this game is pretty much unplayable. Switching to Vulcan makes the game absolutely almost flawless. And my son plays in Windows and he said that it really didn't make much difference in the Windows environment, but on Linux, that Vulcan game changer this is a little bit of gameplay uh, as you can see should be coming across that it's playing really good this is just a for me a really fun get in there kill stuff collect the treasure kind of game very Diablo 2-esque Personally, I like this better than Diablo 3. But, yeah, it's fun. This is Magic the Gathering Arena. This is installed through Lutris, not through Steam. Everything else, I'm pretty sure everything else I'm going to show you is installed through Steam or, and or Steam Proton. This game runs flawless installed through Lutris didn't have to do anything go to Lutris search for Magic the Gathering Arena install the game through Lutris click play it runs and it runs quite well I'm not actually going to show you in game play but just you'll have to take my word for it that it works really well because then I'll have to uh Whoever I end up playing against is not going to know that they're being recorded, and I just don't think that's a good idea. So I'll just show you everything else that runs great. I'm unpacking a couple of packs here. Go to store. Go to the mastery. Everything works good. I have not found anything yet that didn't work. And I've played quite a bit. So this game is Neverwinter Online. I don't play this game near as much as I used to. It's still fun to go in and kill things here and there. Just if you play this game, keep in mind that it is one of the worst offenders in the online gaming market about being pay to win. Do not compare your character to others unless you also pay. However, if you go in there and play it as a solo game, you follow along with the storyline, quest line, it's it's quite fun. And it also runs really well in Linux. So I will run along here and 
find something to combat, show you the game a little bit. Nice little combat sequence. Give you an idea what's going on. Take that over. And that's Neverwinter Online. It shows you a nice little path that you can follow to your next quest location. And the graphics are actually pretty, pretty nice. This is America's Army Proving Grounds, installed through Steam, plays in Proton, it is a free game, plays really well, I did not have to do any tweaks to it to get it to run. Install it, play. So this is for a little bit of in-game action. It is a little bit more laggy than it usually is, sure it's because I'm running OBS, so keep that in mind. It does run good when I'm not running OBS. So I'm going to go ahead and bow out of this game. Just because it's not getting along with OBS very much. This is Silent Hunter 4 submarine game. This is one of those games that you play if you have a lot of time on your hands that you need to kill time and AI opponents. Fun game. I've, I've been playing Silent Hunter since the very first one. Love the series. I do have Silent Hunter 5 installed, but it does not work. I have not tried any workarounds yet. Don't know how hard it's going to be to get that to work. Have not looked into it. Been having fun on Silent Hunter 4. Click install. Click play. That easy. That's the way we like it. As soon as you load a mission, this is the screen that you see. You can double click that, scroll out, see where you're supposed to be. I'm not going to, probably not going to go on into the mission. I don't know yet. Interesting. Wow. Okay, I'll play. Anyway, this is your overview of your of your uh, plot course map. If you're at all familiar with these types of game, you can click around. You you can click in here and you can look around. Can't really do anything in here other than look around but it gives you an idea how small a u-boat back then was pretty neat and i've already showed you that i can go to go to i can go to the top deck that's what i'm looking for oh no i can't because i'm not surfaced ah but i can show you can show you out the uh, port. Periscope. Periscope up. Very strategic, you know, type game. Really like these games. Oh, there's a contact. Get a lock. Lock is good. Neat. So then you can click back on your map. Wow. You can click back on your map and you can click on that is your torpedo map. Warships. Battleship.
battleship must be the one that I logged on. Wait. Then you can go back to your map. Huh, I could not have shot at one further away, could I? This isn't going to go well, so I'm going to leave this game. This is a quick mission, not a full mission. If this was a full mission, I would have submerged down as low as we can go, go into silent running, set our speed to stop, and wait for them to go overhead. Hoping that we're all quiet enough not to be heard. Anyway, those are the games I run. So this has been fun. Now you see my desktop. Yes, I am one of those that have desktop icons. That's why I love KDE Plasma, not because I can have icons but because i have the option to have the icons that's all i'm going to say about that anyway thanks for watching